You know what we have today? Spring training baseball games. Yeah! Hey guys, this is Josh and Nani Know It All coming to you today to talk about spring training baseball. I love spring training. And even though I've said in the past I'm not as big a Major League Baseball fan as I used to be, I still love spring training. Love it, love it, love it. A lot of reasons. Obviously, first of all, I live in the Northwest. Right now it's, well, everything was frozen this morning. I know we didn't have snow like a lot of places do, but I hate the cold. Not a fan of it at all. So to be in like 75 degree Phoenix weather, I can only dream. So I love spring training baseball. Been lucky enough to go down there, I think five times now. Uh, I've also been to the Arizona Fall League uh, three times. I actually just started uh, booking up my my whole trip for this October because I'm going down again to cover the Arizona Fall Classic and the Arizona Fall League. So I am... Man, I'm loving it. Right now, games are about to start uh, today. It's going to be awesome. Before we get this any farther, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, just helps out, lets you know when we have more videos coming out as the season gets rolling. We got a lot of stuff coming out here. We got interviews. We got just discussions on different things that are going on in baseball. So subscribe, like the video. But once again, guys, spring training baseball is here. It's awesome. If you've never been to spring training baseball, that is one of the best things to do as a baseball fan just to go enjoy the weather um, i've never been to florida kelly has been uh he and his family have been to florida for spring training he's done it a few times by himself with his dad uh down there the negative about florida is that the stadiums are far apart i mean they're a couple hours apart it could take a while to get to a place there's once you go to one stadium you're not going to another one that's it phoenix though things are different i mean there are some stadiums that are 10 minutes apart, 15 minutes apart. Uh, there's no two stadiums that are really more than an hour away uh, from one side of Phoenix to the other side, and that's all it is. But, you know, if you go on the, the east side, you've got uh, Mesa and Scottsdale. and You see uh, a number of teams that are all in one area. you got, really, you got the Giants, you got the Cubs, you have the A's are over there. Uh, you even have the Diamondbacks and the Rockies are all in that area. West side, you've got Padres, Mariners, Dodgers, Reds, Indians, Rangers, Royals. I mean, you got White Sox. I mean, so you got a lot of teams in that in that whole area, and it's awesome. I love going down there, especially since you can usually catch a day game, 12.05, 1.05 start, and then go catch a night game at like 5 or 6 o'clock. I think most of them start at 6. But what you do, I mean... You just make sure you get the night game. You have to buy night game tickets ahead of time because those games do sell out once in a while, especially depending on who's playing. But you buy those games ahead of time and then just go find any game you want to during the day. Go watch it. Get autographs if you want to do that. And just go have fun. Love it. There's been there's some great stadiums down there too. You know, obviously, since I'm a Mariners fan, I've normally gone to Peoria most of the time. Um, but I've last couple of times I've gone down, I've gone to other stadiums to see what they're like. You know, the, the White Sox and the Dodgers Camelback Ranch, is a it's a beautiful stadium to go watch a game in. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Goodyear, which has the Reds and the Indians. You feel like you're down in a bowl, and I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, I've only been there once, so I, I might have to go there again just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, but I wasn't a big fan of it the first time. Uh, if you go out to Surprise, where the Rangers and the Royals have their games, and I love that stadium too. That's a fun stadium. It's a good, nice place to go. Uh, parking out there is free. I think parking is really free at most every place. There might be one or two stadiums that have that charge you for parking, but usually, usually it's pretty free. Wherever you go, you can find stuff. Um, you know, it's just it's fun. It's a lot of fun to go out there. It's a very relaxed atmosphere. You have people with all different team uniforms and support, just all hanging out in the in the bleachers. Uh, you know, you do have to buy reserve, you know, specific seats, that type of stuff. But you also buy the outfield berm and just go out there and relax, you know, first come, first serve out there. My family used to always do that because we'd have um, all the kids would just, we'd just throw the blankets out and we'd have food and we'd just sit back, relax, watch the game. Um, Kelly and I would walk around and try and get autographs, you know, from guys when they're leaving the stadium. And it was a lot of fun. I love it. I love spring training baseball. 
And not only that, because if you don't go to night games, not, there's not night games every night. You can go to the practice fields in the morning and catch a game, or not even catch a game. Just go to the practice fields in the morning if all you want is autographs, and then you want to go do something else. I mean, you can go. There, there's a lot of ruins in the in the Phoenix area that you can drive to within about an hour. And I love history type stuff like that. So I love going out and seeing the ruins. You can drive to the Grand Canyon. That takes about that's a full day there and back drive. But there's tons of stuff. There's a train park in the Scottsdale area. There's just a ton of stuff in Phoenix, a ton of stuff. It's a ton of fun. I love it. I really can't emphasize enough. If you're a baseball fan, this is the place to go. Because even if you do go to the practice fields in the morning and go to a day game, if there's no night game, you go get dinner somewhere. Go have a nice dinner. Go relax. Go watch a movie. I mean, you can have a nice, relaxing trip. I mean, for my family, my wife is not a big baseball fan. And my daughter's obviously... One is seven and a half. She's actually almost eight. One is three. They're not big into baseball. My oldest will go with me if I tell her to go get autographs for me, something like that. And she'll do it. She's not a big fan of it, though. So she tends to do other stuff. But we usually get a house or a motel that has a pool so they can play in the water, play in the pool. They go, like I said, the train park in Scottsdale is amazing. You know, if you, if you want something fun to do for your family and you're a baseball fan and they're not, Go to Phoenix. There's a ton of things for them to do, even without you. Just have fun. Evenings, go do a nice dinner, that type of stuff. It's a great trip. It's so much fun. And then for me, personally, I love going in October even more for the Arizona Fall League because there you buy a ticket, you sit anywhere you want. Crowds are almost non-existent. And it's the same type of thing. You have a day game and you usually have a night game. But if you don't, you go get dinner. Or if you don't want to go to the night game, go get dinner. Or let's say you only want to go to the night game and not the day game, go do something for the day. There's so much stuff down there. It's a beautiful place. It's a fun opportunity just to watch baseball, warm weather, play in the pool, have fun. So when I when I when I talk about spring training, I get a little excited, and that's why even like today, just the fact that there are games starting today, uh, Kansas City and the Rangers, uh, the Royals and the Rangers are playing. Uh, today in surprise you know it just it brings back a lot of memories a lot of fun times and excitement for my future trips because even my wife who once again doesn't like baseball has gotten excited about going to phoenix every year every other year because it's a place where she can go and relax she can go and have fun a place where my daughters can go and relax play in the pool and have fun as well it's a great trip so guys if you've ever thought about going to spring training or the arizona fall league do it do it, do it, do it. Just go for it. It's so much fun. It's worth it. It's every baseball player's fantasy uh, road trip, really, because you just go there and you just relax. Great stadiums, good food, fun time, and it's baseball in warm weather. Can't complain about that. So, guys, I'm Josh, just breaking down spring training and my thoughts a little bit. Once again, I love spring training. It is so nice. But guys, I will talk to you later. We're going to get into some more stuff as we get along, especially with the season going and start talking about more about what's going on with individual teams, players, fantasy baseball, and just overall what's going on in the game of baseball. Talk to you later.